fellow builders and welcome back to the bench mediocre modeler here and well it's february it's the second week of february which means we're fastly approaching wonderfest and i really got to get on top of things i am not doing well at all which is why we're working on that i want to update my mandalorian costume for uh cosplay for a couple of different reasons. One, it's hard to get into. Let, let, just let me show you. So, it's made up of, the main two pieces are, one, a red, is it red cap? Oh, Colossus. The Colossus uh, coveralls, okay? Not a big deal, you got those, have those on. I've got my Velcro attached to my size to hold on my shoulder patches, which that part is good. Those, once they're on there, they stay pretty good. Uh, unlike my uh, Jedi shoulder pads, I was constantly having to push them down and push them down. This is where the problem lies. Trying to get into this thing, okay, I've got the snaps on the side, so once I'm in it, I can kind of cinch it and it holds it all together. But getting in it is, I, I've got to go over my head. I still have to snap this. I just can't. I just can't quite get it. So that's the other problem. That's kind of quite a workout. So let me get out of this. I'll save you the. I'll save you the visual. But here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm okay with the front, but the, some of the modifications I want to do, actually, are on the back. Come on. So originally I added the cape, or yeah, the cape, because that's what Dinjari has. I've got a piece of my Jedi robe because my Mandalorian used to be a Jedi. So this is just his way of saying, okay. But if you take this off, I've just got this on the snaps. Just a plain old back and it's really boring, right? So that's why I came up with this. I still like this top part. I like this. I like the purple lining. I still like this. But I want to add a jetpack or some kind of backpack. So we've got our jet. We have two objectives here. One, to figure out how we can get in and out of this without killing ourselves. Two, come up with a backpack to put back here, but still incorporate pieces of that. How are we gonna do that? I have no idea. <laughs> I take that back. So I think one of the best things to do to start with would be to pull the seam off. I've already got a rip, so that way I could kind of put my head in, put my arm and head in, and get it on, and then change this from snaps to maybe the the 
buckle clips. So let's let's start there. Let's let's get this separated and see if that helps at all. Should be fairly easy. Because what we'll probably end up doing is just recreating the sides, doing something different to where maybe we have a piece of side armor. If cutting the side allows me to get into it easier. I'm not the greatest sewer in the world, I, as you can very well see, but it got the job done for the moment. Clearly, that wasn't working the way I planned it. There's a give and a take. The give is it was easier to put on, obviously. The take was I lose this nice edge on the side of my body because there's no way, even with Velcro, and my assumption is always going to be that I'm doing this by myself. I, I won't have a crew, a roadie, a buddy, someone there that I can say, hey, can you come set me up, okay? So we're going to sew this back up, right? Then we're going to just move this attachment piece from here a little bit forward, okay? Which should be fairly easy to do. Since we're going to abandon that part of it, we're going to work on the backpack. And I'm having trouble kind of visualizing it, but I know... I want it, I don't necessarily want it to be a jetpack. Maybe I want it to be jetpack-esque. I don't know. Maybe I can make it so I can modify it later into a jetpack. But I know I want to do like I always do, incorporate regular plastic model kit parts into the design. This is the top wing of the Shuttle Tiberium. Nothing looks Star Wars-y than Star Wars-y stuff. I like the angles, I like the shape, and I'm going to, I, I, with both of them, I think it would make it, it's going to make a very interesting shape for a backpack. So this is what I'm going to use. I would also like to possibly incorporate a way to have either a rifle or the saber on the side or something to where I could pull it pull it forward that's a stretch goal <coughs> first let's just get the backpack built after we get this sewn back together doesn't like having a plan okay I want to take a moment to thank the sewing gods because if you know anything about me the sewing machine and I have a tumultuous relationship, and I think we've reached detente. I don't try to harm it. It doesn't harm me. And so, yeah, it's right there. So, we also, since I was already pull, working on the Mandalorian, I went on ahead and pulled everything out that 
makes up my Mandalorian kit to see what else needs to be repaired. Because this here, right there, which would attach to that part right there, it's like a gap of about maybe five inches. And I thought, well, I had that my my pouch that had my grenade, my thermal detonators in it. Thermal detonators. They're over there. And I figured, hey, I could use that to take up the space. But then there's this. Okay, so I need to figure out how long. Okay, it needs to be three by three, no, nine by three by nine. In my length, I got my length right. And where I messed up was on my width. I forgot the five. I went 10. And so now I've got this pouch. I've got this huge pouch. I mean, I can I always do that. I always, follow your instructions. When you go to the whole point of writing stuff down, follow your shirt. Now, so the pouch, I, I fixed it. You know, I just cut it in half and I ended up with two separate pouches. I can't even remember where the other one is, but. I got a pouch, but the problem is the pouch is just, it has no structure, it's all floppy. I'm like, okay, well, how am I gonna fix that? Well, we fix that with this. I, using some of the floor mat foam that I have, and we're going to just slide this inside the pouch to give it structure. Now, the downside is I might not be able to get as many thermal detonators in there but the upside is now we have a pouch that looks like a pouch with structure that's you know the sides are still a little loose i could have gone with a a solid piece on the sides but i think this is good the the only downside is and it's not that much of a downside the flap doesn't well i'm gonna say the flap doesn't reach the velcro but it does Granted, it, it's not the best looking lid, I, I, I will admit, <laughs> but look at that. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't it beautiful? So now, hold on. So now we can do. One thermal detonator, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two thermal detonators, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three, four thermal detonators. Is that gonna be it? Can we get one more? No. Four should be plenty. We can flip that down. And that salted. I'm very happy with that. Cool. All right. So the pouch situation is sorted, but that still leaves me with the problem of filling that gap. And, and I'm like, what am I going to do? I feel like I can't move on until I get that problem solved. And then I start thinking, well, you know, one of the features, the contrast of all the Mandalorians is there's there's always like leather. And I, I don't feel like I have, I've got the brown, but I don't have actual leather. Because, well, Boba Fett has leather. When Boba Fett has leather. And Bo-Katan has leather. Jango Fett has leather. Paz Vizsla has leather. Sabine Wren has leather. And then, uh, I'm sure Pre Vizsla has leather too. So I need to get some leather. Guess what? Leather is on sale, 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So I got leather. So this is going to be my main piece. It's 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 large suede trim, and it's eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, eight and a half by eleven. And so this is going to be the main portion. I mean, it's nice, it's consistent, and that will be 
like the strapping part that would come over, right? And it would be the main body. <laughs> Plan. So the plan is to go from this from this to this. Alright. We'll attach that to that, right? In some way. And then the other end that's gonna this will snap on back onto that piece and so on the other end we're going to have to put snaps so on this open end we're going to have to put some snaps on there but we'll have to go into a receiver piece so we'll have to figure out a way to maybe make a nice end like this out of this If it looks like I'm making this up as I go along, I'm making it up as I go along. It's another nice thing about model building. When I started out being just a regular model builder, that's all I did. I built plastic model kits and that was it. And then somewhere along the line when you start expanding, you start working with leather and working like with the E11 blaster. I started welding and you just never know where you're going to end up. And that's the beautiful part of building. Just, just pounding those skills on. Just boom, boom, boom. Painting, staining. It's all in there. <laughs> it's a far cry from that first plastic model kit. So let's see what we can do. All right, so let's see how and what we did. Had to break out the leather working kit, the, the snap, the hammers, the snaps, and everything. So, got a piece of leather that we added on. That's one into the snap. Here's our extension. And now we can easily And we're good to go. That's exactly what I wanted. Now it's still it's still fairly plain, you know, there's nothing there, and we could go in and put a design on there. I was thinking when it was the longer piece that I would have more room to design some kind of design on there. And I'll have to think about what I want to put, but for now. I think that's going to work. Okay, fellow builders. I think we're going to call it right there. This is a good place to stop. I didn't get to the backpack yet. We're just going to have to wait to that one. And I'm still wrestling with the design. I, it's one of those things where when I'm trying to get a, through a project... I have to do it one step at a time and I just really really needed to get beyond that I couldn't even really can't even begin to think about the backpack until I got past this the upside is we got some extra leather I had some extra pieces that I didn't even use so maybe we can add a little bit of extra leather to our project but what that means is it's time for you to go build something now whether it's out of leather where they're fabricating metals, building model kits, whatever. Go and build something. It's fun. It's good for the mind. The weather's getting nice. You can actually go outside and just do stuff out there. But until we are ready to tackle this backpack, you know the drill. Have fun. Be safe. And go build something.
that's the beautiful part of building. Just, just pounding those skills on. Just boom, boom, boom. Painting, staining. It's all in there. <laughs> pew, 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 pew.